Hello everyone, welcome to Anmus Classroom. In this session, we will be talking about operations management decisions. And by the end of this video, I hope that you will be able to better answer questions like discuss about the strategic decisions and operational decisions of production and operations management or describe the operation management decisions and their classification and things like that. I hope this these kind of sessions are useful to you guys where we are grouping um, our topics based upon our term and examination questions. These are all previous term and examination questions only. So it could definitely come uh, for what you can say your term and examinations as well. I hope that such a format for uh, grouping our lessons are, or our course is beneficial for you. You are finding it much more comfortable. If you feel so, let me know in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on how you want your classes to be organized so that I also have a better idea of how you guys need. Okay, and I will try to incorporate those in the upcoming videos. So coming to our topic, operations management decision. So operations management, we can essentially consider as a process of planning, organizing, directing and control. So management or managers, that is us in the future, has to take decisions on behalf of the organization in terms of all the managerial functions, all these five functions, planning, organizing, directing and control, even staffing if you are an HR. Right? So, these decisions we can group in or classify in various ways. So, first on the basis of say production management, you can classify it as periodic. Okay, That is maybe selection, design and updation of the products or processes which happens periodically, maybe every year or every five years like that. Or it could be a continuous decision, Okay, continuous like operating, controlling decisions how to uh, setting targets, we set the target like every month, cost controlling, maintenance, inventory control, all these things happen continuously throughout every day we will, we might have targets, right? So that way we can have uh, production management decisions classified. Now on the basis of time, you can classify them as strategic or long term and tactical, that is intermediate term, okay? Long term or intermediate, that is strategic and tactical. Okay, so if they are asking you about the strategic decisions or say tactical decisions, this is what you have to write. So product selection and planning, process selection and planning, facility location and layout, material handling, capacity planning, all these things are tactical or strategic decisions, long to intermediate to long term decisions. Operational decisions are the continuous ones, okay, short term ones, production planning, scheduling, controlling, inventory planning and controlling, quality assurance job and work design, maintenance, replacement, cost reduction, all these things are short term decisions. Almost day to day basis you will have to take or modify these decisions. So if somebody asks about either short term decisions or operational decisions, make sure that you guys are aware or familiar with this. Okay, Long term is strategic, intermediate term is tactical and short term is operational. So based upon that you must write your answer. Next time when you see some strategic decision or operational decision, wherever you see, you should know what they are talking about. Operational means on a day-to-day -day, short term decisions they are talking about tactical, intermediate, strategic, long term. Okay. So on the basis of the functions of management, you can think about it as planning decisions, organizing decisions, direction and control decisions. Whereas on the basis of type, you can think of it as operation and control of production system or planning and design of production system. So I hope that uh, you guys are now aware of how we can classify operations management decisions in various ways as well as a general idea of what we mean by operations management decision. So the questions that we saw at the start of this video, again I am repeating, they are term and examination questions from previous years. There is a chance that one of them might come in your term and examination as well. So if they come, make sure that you are going prepared. At least that you have a general idea of what to write. Okay, whenever you get some time, think about it at least, you know, maybe five minutes before you go to bed. Think about at least one such question, take it up and try to answer in your mind at least how you will formulate your answer. If it comes for five marks, if it comes for 10 or 15 marks or even 20 marks, how are you going to write? Formulate depending upon your question paper. Okay, online students, it is 5, 10 and 15. Online distance learning guys, it is 20 marks. So, so based upon that, just make sure that at least in your mind you revise these concepts and the questions should not feel alien to you when you see that in your term and examination. I hope these sessions are useful to you guys in the format that we are following right now. Let me know your comments. 
in the comment section below let me know your thoughts and in case you guys need any additional support also let me know i will try my best to um, consider all those things so thank you so much all the very best for your term and examination until i see you in the next session it's bye for now